In this video, I wanted to show you how easy it is to create your ebook. So, if you have written a book or a research paper and you want it to convert in a format uh, which is known as the EPUB format, or there are other formats like Mobi that is used by Kindle so that people can read it on their iPads and ebook devices. It's very easy to do that. So, if you've written it in Microsoft Word, uh, just make sure that all your uh, titles like acknowledgement and things you apply the heading styles heading ones and wherever um, the chapter titles were so all your headings you can apply heading one and then even in the list of tables in one of this previous video just before this uh, I've done one where I talked about numbering and also list of table if you wanted to watch it but it's very important all your ch chapter titles have the heading one and then if you say if I had like a section 1.1 I should apply heading 2 and so on and so forth so that the book will automatic people will be able to navigate to the table of contents very easily even this list of figures which I've added uh, will be able to be accessible so once you've done all your work in Word you can go to file and then choose save as and then so in 2007 you'll be looking for the round office button and we're going to save this file as a web page. So there is an option called web page. So I'm going to choose that. Now, whenever you do this, it's good that you create a new folder because it's going to have a bunch of files with it. So I can create a new folder and I can call it uh, my first ebook, for example. I'll give it your book title and double click on it and I'll hit save. So now this has been saved in a web format in the HTML. So I can just um, close this. But before I do that, now the next thing you will need for this is a software called Calibre. So if you go to Google and you do a search called Calibre, you'll come to this link, calibre-ebook.com. And it's a free software. And you can download it and install it in your computer. This software can be also used to manage your Kindles and all your e-devices to manage the books in it. Okay, So once you have it, you will launch it. And here I'm going to add the book to the Calibre. And I'll go to where my book is. So I've created a folder called My First eBook. And in there, I'll be clicking on this file which will be my first book and it gets added and there it is now you can right click on it and you can edit metadata and then go to it editing it and so say here I can you know add the name of the author whoever the author is you can add it so it shows up here um, if you wanted you could add a cover so I can browse to it and uh, what I did is I just made one quickly. So you can actually make your own book cover. Or uh, there is a website called fiverr.com, 5rr.com. And you can find somebody here who might be able to do this for you for 5 bucks to 10 bucks or something like that. This is a very good website to check out if you needed something. There's a lot of cool things here you can get uh, done. Okay, so I can click OK. And you can put a whole bunch of information like the date and published and a lot of information can be added. Now I want to convert this book. So you see the option here called convert books. And I'm choosing to convert it to EPUB. So EPUB is the most common except for I believe Kindle. You will have to convert it to the Mobi format or AZW3 format. Uh, but there is a lot of other format but EPUB is a very common format that is used and again you can put in a lot of information here and we just need to make a few changes so I'm gonna go to this uh, look and feel and I'm gonna say remove spacing between paragraphs otherwise it would put lots of paragraphs there and you can study this if you wanted to make more changes like font sizes and things uh, and we're gonna go to this table of contents and I'm going to click on this wizard here for level 1 and I'll tell it that choose the heading 1 style for level 1 I'll click here and I'll say for the level 2 use H2 and if I wanted I could even say if you see H3 that is the level 3 heading 
So that's pretty much it in the basic idea. And again, there is a lot of things you can look at if you needed it. I click OK. And it's starting to convert on the right hand side bottom. It will show you where the jobs are being done. And you see when it gets done, I can see that it's formats, EPUB and ZIP. So I, this is the EPUB format. So if I click it, it will open it in the EPUB format. And here is the ebook format. And so you see this is like nicely set up. And you can navigate it easily. And you can navigate from this table of contents. But on the left hand side, there is this table of contents option. And then I can say, let's go to chapter two. I can say, go to list of figures. And if I click on this figure, it will bring me to the figure. So this is a really cool way to just get your first books out there if you're planning to sell it on your own or through Amazon or something. And also, if you just wanted to distribute it to people, a lot of people like to read it in the e-format because you can make lots of changing to the fonts and things, which is not really easily done in PDF. And if you wanted to know where your file is situated so that you can email it as an attachment or something, if you click this where it says path, click to open, so it will open it to you and it will show you that it's in my documents and into Calibre and then the name of the author. So you'll see them listed on the top and you'll be usually emailing them that attachment um, to people. So that's the way you can know where the file is. So I hope uh, you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.